we're just shooting down from like 600 meters to zero now on this like windy mountain road. It's so awesome. So we're on our way to some waterfalls, but the route is getting a bit adventurous. So we're gonna leave the bikes here and then just go walking to the waterfalls because this will be a bit difficult with the bikes. I, I mean, I think this is how it's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, see, just zurück schaut einfach, gell? Ja, zu dem Hund geschaut, weil der so die Zähne gefletscht hat. Und dann wirklich so schön. Dog barking at us, and I, <laughs> um, and we all, I don't know, went around the dog, and I was the last one, and went towards me. I went a bit more to the left. And there was the stitch, and I fell in it. <sighs> yeah. So my left knee does hurt, not the skin this time, but deeper, because I just, I think I just fell on the road with it. So the rain is definitely coming, it's, you can see the rain clouds forming, building up on the mountains. and the super fat drops. coming out. Nice. And there's lots of stuff <laughs> we have to dry. <laughs> So we're about to cycle into a cloud. We're about at 500 something meters uh, coming out of Kush. And uh, yeah, it already dropped like six or seven degrees within a few 
minutes now and I think this is gonna be very cool <laughs> literally oh it got so cold up here So, how is it? I was just fidgeting with my handlebar because I wanted to adjust something and I don't know I just lost balance and I, uh, and I fell like, it's so stupid I just really can't even explain what happened exactly yeah, and I think everything is all right. My elbow is a bit bruised, but I think it's all right. And my handlebar bag has a little hole, but I think I'll be able to to patch it. So. Yeah. So today is a big day. We are arriving in Antalya. Only like 35 kilometers to go, I think. Yeah, not far today. Um, and uh, yeah, then we're gonna be staying with the warm showers host for uh, two nights. And then on the third night, on the Tuesday, we're essentially taking the night bus, overnight bus back to Istanbul, or not back to, but to Istanbul, um, where we will then be in a hotel for a week. Uh, before we then fly to the US on the 8th of December. Ich 
sometime later. And luckily she found her back on the road. Thank like you. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we just left Aziz's place and are now heading out for some lunch with Marlene and Lucas. Actually, our last lunch together because uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going. Uh, uh, tomorrow, no, this night we are going to Istanbul and they are continuing to cycle uh, towards the east of um, Turkey to Iran. <laughs> <laughs> so, after traveling with Malena and Lucas for over three weeks now, yeah, I think, three weeks. Luisa and I have a twosome again. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just wanted to say yeah how amazing it was to travel with them and Malena and Lucas, if you're watching this, thank you so much. It was yeah. really, really awesome. Yeah, we really enjoyed our time together. Yeah, it yeah. was really good. And hopefully we'll see each other again, maybe on the other maybe. side of the world, in South America or something, I think. Yeah. That would be really cool. And we wish you all the best for your travels to the East yeah. and hope everything works out in Iran and so on. Yeah, don't freeze too much. Don't freeze too much <laughs> in Eastern Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, thank you. Bye. Well, the video still goes on, but yeah. that was the bye to Malina and Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're sitting at the bus terminal now and waiting for a bus. So as you can see, the guitar rack broke in the bus. It looks like because this is also bent over, it looks like because yeah, probably they put a luggage piece on here or something and it snapped it off. And now we have to cycle through Istanbul, which is gonna suck, I think. <laughs> and then we have the hotel for a week where my parents actually wanted to visit us. Uh, and yeah, they booked the hotels for the four of us, but because of Corona, they can't come now. Um, so yeah, they canceled, but left the hotel reservation for us. So that's nice. Yeah. We just left uh, this area where there were a couple of bike shops and we just went from bike shop to bike shop to see where we can find. And um, we, looks like we have two bike boxes and um, maybe even the Marathon Plus Tour tires that we really wanted to get for a long time but we couldn't get. Uh, they should be able to order them, which will be awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. I have to take a picture for my parents. It's so sad that they can't be here. And we're gonna be here for a week. Oh my yes. god. And we can get so much stuff done and nice and quiet. And
what are you doing there? Um, I am fixing the bike rack after uh, the bus company unfortunately broke it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in these little metal uh, steel parts, which I had with me because I, just in case, I kind of already assumed something might be good to have some metal pieces to add in. So now I'm just going to add these in here, put this here, and then it's essentially fixed. Nice. Yeah. All right, bike one is packed. Lisa's bike is packed, and now... Toby's bike. First, have to change the tires. Yeah, we're just gonna put on the new Marathon Plus Tour tires first and then we pack it as well. So they're carrying the bikes upstairs. Uh, we did it. Took only, I think, four hours. <laughs> I'm on our way to the bazaar today and we're gonna buy some gloves. <laughs> just texting with Riza on Instagram. He lives in Turkey and he's going to start a big bicycle tour around Turkey today. And he asked us if we could meet before that. And of course we said yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And um, also Simon and Lucy from Gone Cycling Adventures also wrote us on Instagram. And um, Simon asked if we wanted to meet also today or in general, but we uh, agreed on today. Um, to jam together a bit because he has a fiddle or a violin with him um, and yeah we're just gonna see if we can jam a bit somewhere It's time! Oh my god, it's so crazy! 